なーなーなーはい、and welcome to Black Brains Where zombies inspire us to be as awesome as we can possibly be Now I am massively pumped today, like I'm pumped like a football, I'm pumped like a jumping castle Because we have an absolute superstar, legendary Conor supporting guest on the show He's done books like the Max Rumble series and the Undies and he did Why I Love Footy, and of course his latest book, Pig Do. Who can do anything, by the way? So he's sold over 500,000 books. He's an absolute champion, and his name is Michael Wagner. So Michael is safe and sound in his own little zombie-proof bunker. Let's try and link up with him right now. Hello, Michael. Michael. My buckle, are you there? Michael. Oh, no, he's gone. A great man is dead. The zombies have got him. Michael. Michael, Michael, can you hear me? I'm here. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were fine. Never worry for a second. <clears throat> so, Michael, welcome to Great to be here. Well, it's awesome to have you. Now, here on We know that zombies have like these really cool traits that we can use to make ourselves as awesome as can be. And one of those traits is focus. So like if a zombie's chasing someone, they're really, really focused, like they want to get that eyeball. They want to rip it out and they want to chew on the gooey brain inside. So like, they're not getting distracted, they're not texting, they're not multitasking. So Michael, why is it important for an author to have good focus? It's vital to have good focus because you can get so much more done so much more quickly if you have focus. The opposite of focus is distraction. So, okay, here is a guy writing while focused. Watch the hands. Here is a guy writing while distracted. Which guy do you want to be? I want to be the guy who's focused. Yeah, absolutely, and, and me too. Um, so speaking of distractions, do you have like any tips or tricks? Like, do you turn off the TV or like, what do you do to help you stay focused? I turn the TV off, I close the blinds so I'm not looking outside into the garden all the time. I get as much quiet around me as I can so I'm not distracted by voices in the next room. Yep. I keep it quiet, I even keep it a little bit dark. And I keep it so Ooh. totally focused so all I'm thinking about is the story that I'm writing at the time. Yeah, yep. that's awesome. And I guess one thing is that what works for you that may not necessarily work for everyone else. Yeah, do you reckon? Absolutely. What works for me is keeping it dark. I even sometimes put music on to get myself in focus. But right. as soon as I'm getting in focus, I find myself turning the music down, 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 and then off. It just gets me focused, but it's not. it becomes a distraction if I have it on for too long. That's my way. Your way may be different. Yeah, absolutely. That's really, really cool advice. Um, now, one thing about focus is that if there's a bit of danger or urgency, like, is people find it easy to focus then. So, like, if you're surfing or balancing on something or a zombie's chasing you, your focus is really, really good. So, like, there's not really any danger when you're an author, but can you, like, create a little bit of urgency, like, by maybe giving yourself a deadline or getting a deadline, like, would that help you focus better? Very good idea. That does make your focus better. If you have yourself a deadline, even if that deadline isn't one you're absolutely strict about, because in the end, what matters is that the work is good, not that it arrived on time, but a deadline helps you to get really super focused. And so take the deadline seriously until it passes and then relax on the deadline and set a new one. Get focused by that one. Yeah, that's, that's really awesome again. Now zombies have really good focus because they really, really love eating brains. So, with, not just with writing, but with anything in general, do you think you focus better and actually do a better job if you're doing something you really love doing? Or do you do better if it's something that you think you should write or that someone's told you you should write? Absolutely, it should be something that you like. You should be yes. focused yes. on what you want the story to be, not what anyone else wants mm -hmm. the story to be. That's part of the editing process, not part okay. of the writing process. When you write, it's all about your emotions. Listen to your body when you're writing while you're focused on the story. If you get goosebumps, it's working. If you get tears in your eyes, it's working. Nice. So look for those signs. They tell you that it's working for you. And when you're writing, all that matters is that it's working for you. Editing later, that's a different story. 
writing, it's about the emotions that you're feeling, it's about you. Okay, awesome, and, and I guess if you're getting that emotion and feeling that joy, that's gonna come across in your writing as well. Absolutely, that's what it, you want the reader to experience. Yep. You can't guess what the reader wants, you can only tell what you want. And that's where you've got to be focused. That's what you've got to be aiming for. Something that pleases and excites and causes emotion in you. And then you've got to hope that that translates to the reader. Yeah, fantastic. So finally, speaking of, just, of being in the moment, like, do you have anything that really distracts you? Like that even if a zombie was chasing you, you would want to stop and do this thing. Even if your face was going to get bitten off. And if so, what's your thing? Well, it's Facebook, nice. it's Twitter, yep. it's Instagram, it's emails, and it's my phone. <laughs> okay, they are the things that distract me all the time. Then, of course, there's people, but you can kind of close a door and let that yeah. the people stay behind the door. Yep. But when it comes to social media and any kind of screen, they are very distracting. You've got to shut them down as much as you can, and just uh, otherwise they'll become a complete distraction. Yeah, definitely. So shut them down, people. You will survive. Ah!